Comedian Sheila mourns the death of his aunt, who had an accident and died due to lack of equipment in hospital. He's calling on Governor of Ondo State to take responsibility and fix health care in the state. Take a look at the video. Your Excellency, Barista wrote me a Dolu. This is not a fight with you. It is just stating the truth. This morning, my mom's yoga sister had an accident and they didn't have the right equipment to take care of her at the general hospital in the Bokoda. And in just some few minutes, she's been pronounced dead just because she fractured her neck in an accident. Please, please. Let's do the right thing. Also, Padek, please. That's yeah. very yeah. emotional, yeah. Um, but not surprising because I've said it on this table <laughs> that so many people that are pronounced dead in Nigeria and maybe Africa, if they were in the Western world where they have better healthcare system, yeah. they'll probably still be alive. Yeah, yeah. A lot, we've lost life to health Flimsy negligence, things. and Flimsy. it's just sad. It's really sad. I don't know. I mean, this is happening and coming to the public because it's she is related to Ishei law. Yeah. But so many people have lost friends, families, mothers, fathers on something that could actually be prevented, either based on negligence or based on our own irresponsibility to check ourselves regularly. You know, it's. I don't know how this lifestyle will be changed, but first and foremost, those in government should do the right, should do the right thing, like he has rightly called out the governor of the state to look into their healthcare yeah. system. I mean, I think this is something we've actually talked about since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, how uh, we're talking about they should focus more on the healthcare system. And it's very sad, once again, to see that even with the pandemic, it felt like nobody actually still... Uh, she really bought budget and said <laughs> they needed to renovate their house. To, the, can you imagine? The so it feels like still the healthcare is not important. <laughs> to um, our leaders, I just, I don't know, I'm losing hope gradually, mm. and I hope that something would change, because the truth is, people don't deserve to die needlessly like this, because this is a needless, like, it's a, a death that could have been avoided. Mm. Like, how, how many people die from fracture of the leg? That's in crazy. developed countries. So I just hope that something will be done. Healthcare is a fundamental right of a human being, so I hope that, and it's Nigeria, not like take you don't, it seriously. You know, it's one thing, when I when remember when we used to go for missionary, you know, visits or whatever, and the the country is poor, it's different. It's very different. Yeah. They need help. They need assistance. They need um, resources. That's not what's happening here. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it really painful is that we have the resources, we have the money. Someone is just sitting on it, just or a few people are. Basically. Yeah. Yeah.